Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the measurement of impedance. So it is another type of uh, parameter impedance that is we can that we can calculate using the complete bench setup. Okay. So previously we have seen different types of magic T uh, junctions that we can use to measure the impedance. So apart from magic T, we have two different methods. One is using slotted line and the other one using a reflectometer. So in this particular uh, microwave subject, you are going to learn about the slotted section method, how you are going to measure the um, impedance. Okay. So you are using a method impedance impedance measurement can be done using slotted line or slotted section method that okay. is uh, also there that is the reflectometer method that we are not going to see here okay so now uh, we will see how you are going to use this slotted section carriage and the measurement of this impedance. So in this method, impedance is measured using slotted line and the load ZL by using this V max and V minimum can be determined. In the previous case, we have seen in the VSWR measurement, we have seen the standing wave. <laughs> For the standing wave, we have taken the maximum and minimum points V max and yet it is V minimum points. So here also uh, the a load is connected, a load is connected to the transmission line, a load is connected to the transmission line, okay, that load is having the impedance ZL okay in with this load with this particular load whatever we have connected with this load we will calculate we'll find v max and v min v max and v min we are going to calculate we will find the two maximum and minimum voltages which is v max and v min we mean that we are uh, going to calculate so in this measurement the uh, measurement of impedance takes place in two steps okay so in this scenario the measurement of the measurement of impedance mm. can be done in two ways one is step one that is determining determining v min using the load ZL as we have connected the load ZL first we are going to find out v min using that one and determining Step 2 is determining V min by short circuiting the load. By short circuiting the load. Okay. So, what are those two? One is determining the minimum voltage by taking ZL as the load. Another thing is short circuit the load and then we are calculating the minimum method. So first you are having these uh, bench setup arrangement like this a microwave source we are having followed by attenuator and then slotted section carriage and crystal detector on which uh, through, uh, over which this slotted section carriage we are having a probe carrier followed by this uh, VSWR meter or power meter. VSWR meter or power meter. Now uh, the slotted section carriage other end is connected with the load. This load is having the impedance ZL. Okay. So now what we are doing, we have taken some unknown load that is connected at the end 
uh, slotted section carriage we have taken and by moving this slotted section carriage towards the source initially the slotted section carriage probe carrier is at the right hand side nothing but towards the load now we are just slightly moving the slotted section carriage towards the load when uh, at that particular time we will be having the deflection in this vsw armator where you are having the maximum deflection that we are taking it as the v minimum okay one deflection will be coming first deflection we are taking it as the v minimum deflection okay so later this is the first step we need to follow what is the second step determining the v minimum value by short circuiting the load so now in the second step we will short circuit this load whatever we have connected at this stage so short uh, remove this again keep the same arrangement as it is remove this unknown load which is calculated as ZL now we need to replace this with a short circuit load so now we have taken a shorted termination that is match termination that is connected completely with the slotted line so what happens this signal will be stopped here only okay no observer is there it is the match termination which is exactly having the impedance that is equal to the characteristic impedance of the transmission line okay that's why it is a termination or we can say match termination so same see here if you there is no difference between the remaining case uh, remaining blocks whatever we have microwave trans microwave source attenuator slotted section carriage and a probe carrier followed by this power meter or vscwr meter okay this is the second case now when we try to obtain the values of v max and v minimum using a load we get certain values okay when we are connecting this load zl in the previous step we will be having v max and v minimum at certain values however if the same is done by short circuiting the load the minimum gets shifted either to the right or left okay i will write here when we try to obtain the values of v max and v min using a load we get certain values we get certain values however if the same is done by if the same is done by short circuiting the load short circuiting the load if the same is done by short circuiting the load the minimum gets shifted the minimum gets shifted either to the right or to the left either to the right or to the left so how we can say whether it is moving towards the left or towards the right that means towards source or towards load that depends upon the impedance if it is having capacitance impedance then it is moving towards the load if it is having a, 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 what is that um, inductive impedance then it is moving towards the load okay that completely depends upon the type of impedance we are connecting at the load so if the shift is if the shift is to the left is to the left it means it means that the load is that the load is inductive it means that the load is inductive and if the shift is to the right 
if the shift is to the right it means that the load is capacitor okay that the load is capacitor in nature both inductive and as well as capacitor in nature see here if, if you observe this graph we can understand initially when ZL is considered as a load this is the type of measurement of the waveform you will get minimum value it is the minimum voltage value and it is the maximum voltage value you will be having when you are changing the load from ZL to any short termination short circuited then by rotating this slotted section carriage slowly the wave gets moved either in this direction or in this direction see if it is moving towards the source or in the left hand direction that is inductive load if the wave is shifted towards the uh, what is that load or in the right hand side we can call it as capacitive load okay so by recording this data an unknown impedance is calculated all these uh, impedances whatever ZL is ZL initially it is unknown impedance okay so uh, whether it is a capacitive inductance okay whether it is a capacitive impedance or inductive impedance or pure resistor we have not at known just a load a load is connected now by doing this experiment we can clearly say whether it is inductive or capacitive or complete resistive so the impedance and the reflection coefficient rho can be obtained using this magnitude and as well as phase also can be calculated okay so this is what the impedance and uh, impedance measurement through which we can calculate the reflection coefficient also okay thank you